everybody and welcome to Old Guy Games. Here's another collection of free games that are out there at Itch.io and Desura and a couple of, I don't know, I forget all the places I got this one. But yes, turn your sound up and grab your mouse and make sure it is firmly in hand. This is Stick Shift, <laughs> an auto-erotic adventure. So um, let me start the car and let's get moving here. All we have to do here is shift through the gears. Oh, yeah. Keep that music pounding. We're in the sweet spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I seem to have problems going from second to third, but we'll give it a go here. Ah, there we go. Yeah. This guy's a major douche. Oh, yeah. We're in fourth. Look at that. It looks like, I don't know if he's... Or getting hot. I've had this feeling in a car though. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh, here it comes. Here comes number six. And yeah, one of the few games out there with an actual real-time cooldown. <laughs> I can't play or <coughs> do anything else with this game for another 15 minutes. <laughs> but that's it. That's stick shift. <laughs> God. All right, uh, this is Mark Ellis, and it's one that I don't quite get. Because <clears throat> you're presented with a bridge, and you have to decide if that bridge is going to hit you. I don't think it's going to work, so here goes the train. Yep. And I was wrong. Okay, so I failed that. Hello? Okay, good, you're hearing me. Um, like this one, I don't think it's going to work either. So here goes the train, and it worked, and I lose again. But it failed afterwards. Okay, so November 9th. All right, let's see. Let's say that. Okay, that one's not going to work. So yeah, I failed again. All right. Let's take a look at this. Uh, now watch. It'll work just okay. There we go. Yay. And I got a correct assessment. Um. Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Nope, I was wrong. It won't go. Oh, it did go. All right. May not have lasted long. November 20. No, that one's not going to go. Or I could be wrong again. But this is, this is the entire game. It gives you a date and... Look at that. I don't think that's going to work. Nope. Okay. No. That little step right there makes me nervous. But this is as far as I've ever gotten in the game. It gives you a date and a bridge and... It's a long one, but I think it's going to work okay. You can hear my cat in the background. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe not. But I mean, this is... I don't get the significance of the dates. No. I don't know if the bridges are just randomly generated or what. And it's not like you're having fun building the bridges. You're just 
deciding whether they're gonna work or not. And I can tell you, most of the time, you can just hit not every time and you'll be all right. Uh, I don't know who Mark Ellis is. Maybe somebody can fill me in on that one. Like many Unity games, there's no quit key, there's no nothing, and this is it. And I don't know, see I don't know what I'm trying to do or anything, but if you feel like it, just search up this name, Mark Ellis, whatever the fuck that is, and um, you can do this all day. Nothing ever changes. <laughs> Moving on. Ah, this is one I like. This is Where's My Hammer? You go back and you charge like this and then... Puh. Whoops. Puh. 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 Every, absolutely everything in this game is destructible. And, uh, uh, including the very floor that you're standing on. <laughs> Alrighty. Whoops. And there's really nothing else to it except that you, uh, you get to break things. And really, demolition is a lot of fun. Really? There we go. Let's see if we can't get through this wall. No. Destroy the plaque. Destroy the wall. I want to go through. Boing. <laughs> Wee! I have no idea what the hell threw me back. But, um, Unity Physics. Alrighty, and artwork. Done. Hey, look, I'm, uh, I'm Isis. Oh, if you're not familiar, they're destroying all kinds of precious artwork, but one flaw, whoa, hello frame rate. One flaw with this game, minor flaw is if I can get it to go now. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. That got part of it. The very floor that you're standing on is destructible. I have no idea where that just came from. Alrighty, let's destroy things. Come on, get out. What? Whoops. Ah, bleh. Thud. Oh God. What is go? What is happening? Life is okay. 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 Everybody calm down. We're okay. All righty. There we go. Hello floor. There we go, and we can come in. Let's take out the columns. Whoops. And the jugs. And this is pretty much it. This is a great little stress relieving game. Uh, if you can call it a game, there's, I don't think it is. It's just kind of a, a thing that lets you destroy stuff and kills your frame rate for some reason. 
I guess because it's modeling all of this physics. All right, down we go. That was disappointing. Okay. Sometimes you have better luck just kind of swinging your mouse around. Okay. <laughs> Tap. But uh, this is pretty much it. Go through destroying your environment. Hello, car. <laughs> Thud. I I'll admit the, the sound effects leave something to be desired. Okay. But... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's dive off the roof and end up here again. Thud. Come on. Okay, we will try this way. There we go. That's a little bit more satisfying. Let me through the door. Okay. Alrighty. But yeah, this is, uh, where's my hammer? Um. Destroy things. Have fun doing so. And it is when it works. Quite satisfying. <laughs> Seriously, I'm having fun. We'll move on here in a minute. Uh, is this... Oh, this column isn't destroyable. Dang. All righty then. Um. Oh, deep. Uh oh. Okay. That's enough of that. Let's move on. This is Power Drive 2000, and there's not much to this one right now. It's uh, it's a nice little pre-alpha release, and I actually need to go back to the site and see what else they've done, but I love the aesthetic to this. All that's here right now is the time trial, but look at this. It's like driving through a 1980s poster. And I don't know what cat is down in the corner, but they may have plans for it in the to, to be like Kit in the future. I don't know. But, um, I mean, the music and the aesthetic of the whole deal, like I said, it really is just like driving through a 1980s poster. I love this thing. Oof. Come on. I mean, it'd be really awesome if they could get Max Headroom to be the spokesperson for this game. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. But check out this awesome tunnel. That was just a screw up on my part. And it says I have turbo, but I can't I haven't figured out the turbo button. I'm sure I, I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. But all the usual suspects don't work ow. Hey man. But like I say, there's not much to this game right now, but that's okay. I just I just love the awesome music, I love the look of it, I don't know what kind of car I'm driving, but it's, you know, tubular. And I know, uh, I know Josh Hadley usually doesn't pay attention to my videos, but this, 
this would be a wet dream for him because it'd be just like going back in time, but uh, zing. That's it right now. Just a simple time trial. And um, it's a lot of fun. So let's, let's uh, yeah, check out their Kickstarter. Power Drive 2000. Let's move on. <laughs> I died in a shopping cart accident. My family was mortified and Christmas was a flop. This is Last Chance Supermarket. And you go around buying everything you can. Ow! And try not to do stupid stuff like that. Let's try again, shall we? But this, oh god! You ran into me, you jerk! Okay, here we go. But you have a shopping list there. And... Yeah, we gotta get all this stuff. I don't even, I don't even pay attention to it, honestly. Dang it! But that's the game, you just run around. <laughs> Ah, oh, I even got something off my list that time. I was so happy. But for those curious, this is exactly what shopping on, damn it, on Black Friday is like. Again, uh, Last Chance Supermarket is the name of the game, and you, that's pretty much all of it. And I gotta be honest, I've never had a successful Christmas with it, so I don't know. Good luck, everybody. Alrighty, this is going to be the last little bit on our uh, game widget free stuff out there on Desura thing for this episode. This is Campfire. Again, not really a game, but it's meant to sit around and play with a friend. And if I hit begin, we've got our two little friends. We have our guitar player and we have our drummer. And I'm going to start with the drummer. He's got three tones. That's pretty much it. Woo! And I'm not a drummer at all, so I'll let you guys do that. But you can do that with the three mouse keys, and that's pretty much it. And then for guitar, you hold down the chord you want, and you can strum up, or you can strum down. And it's, uh... It's pretty much just make music. And that's it. And the reason I featured this one was I love that that oil painted background and our little characters are adorable. And it's uh, got the soothing sounds of a campfire. So, especially in wintertime when I'm missing camping, which I do as often as I can, uh, and I'm missing that wonderful campfire sound and the food and everything, uh, I can just fire this up. And I've got a the green, squirrely-looking thing and a blue monkey with the drum. And I can play with them. <laughs> And I guess I'll just hold hot dogs up next to my CPU, uh, and and I'll just I'll shut off the fans so it gets nice and hot, and I can cook. Wiener, that's dumb. Don't do that. But anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for joining me on this edition of the free widgety gamey stuff on Desura and the weird stuff that I find. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we start with stick shift and which is far from wholesome and we end with campfire and uh, I think we'll just call it there so thanks a lot for joining me and I will catch you guys on the next episode of Old Games <laughs>